Maria Menounos, author of The Every Girl's Guide to Life. Hey guys, today I'm not gonna teach you about computers because I'm not really the expert, but everything I have learned so far, my friend AJ has taught me. So I'm gonna turn it over to AJ to help you with cloud management. So we're gonna talk a little bit about cloud computing. Um, to explain what cloud computing is, I'm supposed to give you a little bit of a background about the internet, how the internet works, where the internet came from, how the cloud fits on the internet, is the internet is a cloud? I'm not gonna do any of that. It's extremely boring. We're gonna skip right past it. The cloud, basic definition, is the internet. The internet being this place where everything is connected and everyone can get access to everything all the time. The cloud itself is where you get your email, it's where you get your application services, is where you can put files where anyone can get access to them, is where you can back up your data. All that really means is you're putting your stuff out on the internet that you can access your files later, you can have someone else access your files, or you can actually put your files there for safety and they're always going to be safe for you to have access to. So what are some of the applications used for cloud computing? Well, some of them you already use already. Um, most people don't realize it, but Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, Dropbox, um, Windows Live Mesh, uh, Files Anywhere, all of those services are services for you to actually put your files up, your pictures up, your data up, so that you can have access to them at any time. Um, a, a, another one for video, YouTube. Everyone knows YouTube. YouTube is a type of cloud service. You put your data up there, you can edit it, you can move it, you can share it with the whole world. So another important service that cloud computing allows you to have is backup. I can't even stress to you how important backup is to your everyday life. Understand, this is what I do for a living. I've only done this my entire life, technology. And if I can explain to you some of the disaster scenarios of someone who had their data, didn't back it up, lost it, gone forever whole lives completely gone. I'll, there's even been instances where people actually had backups, but they never actually tested the backup to make sure that they can get the files off of the backup, data's still gone. That's one of the most important things about backup. You wanna make sure you can back your data up and that you can get your data off. Both of those two things go together. Cloud computing has kind of come in almost out of nowhere to provide um, ubiquitous file backup systems. And it's automated. And automated is one of the best ways to have your data backed up automatic backup on your files automatically into the cloud with security measures so that no one else can get your data and even if you lost your username and password it's actually a, a specific process for you to go through to get your data so someone can't pretend to be you how it works there's an agent that you download you install on your computer oh this is the same for almost any cloud computing service for backup you download an agent the agent installs on your local computer then that thing is set up, either you set it up or it has some defaults, that it will automatically take your data, um, your files, your pictures, your images, your emails, whatever you say, and it will put it out on the internet, in the cloud. The next thing it'll do is automatically, on some periodic basis, either weekly, daily, hourly, doesn't really matter, it's going to put out the changes that you've made. So it won't send all the data at once the first time you set up, it'll send all the data, it'll take a minute, and then it's gonna only send the changes, and that's why it works so well, because you're not actually changing so many files all the time that it's gonna use up all your internet or slow your computer down to do regular backups. You want to be secure. Security is paramount. You have to be careful for um, your data being able to be taken by someone who might want to try to do identity theft. You want to be careful about the type of information you put on the cloud. When it comes to backup services, it's a tad bit different because those services are made specifically for keeping your data secure. You should do some homework, you should check the reviews, you should see what your IT friend or person or compadre says about that service. Read the reviews before you choose a backup service. Make sure it's secure. Make sure that you can get your data back make sure you don't have to worry about identity theft. But the type of information you don't want to put on the internet that has nothing to do with backup, if you're not doing backups, you want to be careful about your social security number. You want to be careful about your phone numbers. You want to be careful about information about your kids, your family, addresses, passwords. Be very, very careful with your passwords. You always want to look for that little lock in your browser, your browser being Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, Opera, all of these applications are your web browsers, and you're gonna look for that little box, and you're gonna make sure that your the URL, your Universal Resource Locator URL, has that HTTPS instead of HTTP. HTTPS means it's secured, it means it's encrypted, and you should be fine. For more Every Girl tips, go to bing.com slash Maria.